Mike Tyson is one of the prime examples of what I speak of because Mike Tyson is often compared to Muhammad Ali and I love the two all-time greats of heavyweight boxing, the most famous boxers of all time. And both of them have some superficial similarity. Both of them are very much hailed for their footwork. We love their footwork, we love their defense, we love their offense, their combos, you know, all of it. But only one of them is being hailed for having a great chin, which is Muhammad Ali. And Mike Tyson, we talk about him like he's a, he's a glass chin, you know. He cannot take hard punches. If you can punch him real hard, you can dominate the fight. And this, in my opinion, is one of the reasons why I like to em emulate Mike Tyson's style so much. Because actually, he just does not get hit a lot. And he never was. He doesn't get hit a lot in sparring. He never got hit a lot in real fights. That's probably one of the main contributors why he still has, has great brain health in his, at his age. He was able to do dozens of professional boxing fights with very little brain damage, with very little hard punches to the head. And same is true for sparring. Also, another contributing factor is that he has that massive neck. He's got a great neck and a neck is one of the greatest brain protectors in your body. So the entire example of Mike Tyson supports the points that I make. Another great example is Floyd Mayweather and it will become even more obvious in the future once we see how Floyd Mayweather will age and that he will still be as crisp, as sharp, as awake when he's 60 or 70, as he is now, it will become obvious how important it was to protect his brain, his head, during his entire career, in sparring and in fights.